Hi guys, how are you all? I am Asad Sheikh from Iconic Design and let's see how much we have accomplished. HTML, Active Style, New Bar, RTL, Dark Mode. Bro, there is lot to cover. You ask for it and we have it. For today's video, we will go deeper in chart customization using Gulp. For basics, we have already customized the charts. For that video, you can just go and just click on this i button. And let's get started with this video. Now, let's get some learning. So in this chart, we will change the font family of x axis and y axis. But why? Because it's not working with your website. And we will also change the colors. And to do that, we need a chart ID. And of course, charts get rendered with ID. So to find that ID, we have two steps. Firstly, copy that content of the chart and then search it in every file. Or you can in simply inspect the chart and copy that ID from here and then press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus S. We got this result here and I will use script for that and script are defined by hashtags. So we will put hashtag in the beginning and we will get these two scripts. But we will do the change in script with SRC only. So if you are wondering why SRC? In SRC, you can make changes in main file, which is a source code. And when is this term, it's just a development folder. And when you rerun your program, it will just get replaced with the source code and while using SRC, you can make changes in font, color and height. Here, we have to use the chart from Apex chart and going to their website, they have given many demo charts. And to make changes in chart through docs, you can just search whatever you like, like color or area chart or any other chart. Now this was the library. Now we will learn actually how to change in SRC. So you can change the font from here, going to variable.scss and just search for the fonts. Here we can see there is a dancing script. So copy it now and go in dashboard.jss and simply replace that. So font has been changed here. Now if you want to copy similar fonts in other chart, you can copy the entire font family and inspect it in particular chart that you want to change. Get the chat ID. To search it in dashboard.jss and paste the font family here. And it's done. Now we are all good for the fonts. So let's just move to colors. So to change colors, we have this array called color. And here we have two options, primary color and secondary color. To change that, let's go to variable files. Find this primary here and then just find out what primary color is. Now copy that color code and search it in. Now click Ctrl plus G and select and then replace every color. Let's do the same step with secondary color also. And just reload your website and kaboom, it's all done. And you can see our page is just looking colorful like Disney movies, right? Now, if you want to change the chart, then just go to Apex chart. And here I will select column chart in that there is a stake column chart. Click on that. Now you will see the code below this chart and here in option you can see this type. You just copy the piece of code and update that code in your source code. Now reload your site and it's all good to go. And if you want to add a new value to the chart, you can go to the code and add a new value in it and where that value added in the data. Now copy that new value and paste it in below data. Now scroll down to X axis and add a new value in the category and reload your site and it's all done. I just feel like a God. Sorry, I just got carried away. That's all for this video. Don't forget to use amazing charts. Hash Hope UI gives you a big box of quantity and quality that's for free. And that is to ease our work. I will be back with another video. Stay connected. If you like this God face, just like this video. Comment down any doubts you have and just subscribe.